What's going on, comic fans? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, I wanted to talk about the many deaths of Layla Starr. There was a recent deluxe edition that came out from Boom Studios, uh, who also published the story initially. So we're going to take a look at that while also just talking about the series as well and why it's probably one of the coolest stories I've read so far this decade and why uh, I can't recommend picking up the deluxe edition itself uh, as much as possible. It's an awesome, awesome book. Even just read it digitally if you can. We'll get into the story, we'll look at the hardcover itself, um, and talk a little bit about the creators as well, um, and, and why I enjoy the story, why I highly recommend it. Real quick before we do that, I can't recommend checking out organicpricebooks.com enough. A lot of us here collect graphic novels, hardcovers, trade paperbacks, omnis, whatever it may be. Organicpricebooks.com is our favorite place to go to get books like that. Amazing prices, amazing selection, fantastic shipping, fantastic customer service. They have an awesome YouTube and Instagram page as well, so highly recommend checking those out. I've got two promo codes that are down in the description below. THCT will get you $2 off, and THC Ship It Together will get you 5% off your order of three or more books. Highly recommend checking them out if you're into collecting comics uh, in a collected edition format. Now, let's get into the many deaths of Layla Starr from Boom Studios. It was a very happy day at the THC Studios, both, uh, well, definitely the, in the Canadian one uh, and probably the US one when the many deaths of Layla Starr deluxe edition was announced. You know, not a series I ever expected to get a deluxe edition just because it's a, a mini series and I haven't seen too many deluxe editions for mini series from Boom Studios, but very, very happy that they did release one. Uh, written by Ram V with artwork by Philippe Andrade. A, a five issue mini series that will uh, take you on, on a ride through every issue and, and in the overall story in general. Ram V, in my opinion, has quickly become a, a very important writer to watch, in my opinion. I think he's he's written some of the coolest and, and most entertaining comics uh, in the past, you know, I think five, six years at this point, maybe even longer than that. Uh, and he just continues to impress uh, between Justice League Dark, Many Deaths of Layla Starr, Swamp Thing. But he's done a lot of creator-owned things, which is primarily where he shines. His DC work is fantastic, but his creator-owned work, like this title, uh, is, is incredible. Um, so I picked up this deluxe edition, having read this series, uh, f having really enjoyed it. Being able to see it in print this time, seeing the physical paper on these oversized format, I really, really liked it. The art style may not be for everybody. I know there are some people out there that aren't big fans of it. You know, if you're looking for something like uh, Ivan Reyes or uh, Gary Frank, you're not getting that here. You're getting something very stylistic uh, with Andrade's artwork. You're getting something very cultural, very uh, exciting, very colorful, very dynamic, uh, very just interesting and different from what is is usual in comic books today. In my opinion, it set the to it set it fit the tone uh, and set the tone for the story really, really well. It, and in addition to Ramvi's artwork, you you get a, a lot of really good emotional moments from this. You get a lot of really scary moments. Anyway, the artwork, in my opinion, is great. It, it's it's. It's very exciting to look at. It was a different style from what I've been personally seeing recently, and that, that made me happy as a fan, always looking for something new. In terms of the story itself, well, I can't give away too much. It's only five issues, so I'm going to do my best to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. But essentially, uh, Death, the god Death, goddess of Death, has been given her notice of termination uh, last few weeks on the job. Death won't be needed anymore. There's been an individual that will be born or, or has been born that will create the cure for, for, for death, will create eternal life for humankind and all life on earth. So death is cast out, cast out to be immortal for the rest of, well, the mortal life that, that uh, she will live. And so ends up embodying the this character of Layla Starr. And throughout various deaths of Layla Starr, uh, this goddess death reincarnated as Layla continues to return and, you know, continue to hunt down this individual who who has caused her to lose her job, has caused her to be cast down from 
uh, the the status of godhood. So that's the, essentially the premise of the story. And of course, along the way, things change and things happen to uh, to, to alter maybe both Layla's pers- perspective and this individual's dis- perspective um, that will you know that that will shape the future of of humankind. It's a very very fascinating story told in in snapshots of of life for these two characters. Uh, and, and other characters around them, of course. This isn't just about two characters in total. It's about the world around them, the many people in the life of a human being, and and the world in general. Um, and and you know what life is for for people and, and humanity, and and you know how it's perceived by people, ver- of various different lifestyles and walks of life. A very interesting uh, e- examination of that, basically. You know, um, it's a, a sensitive topic for ma- for many people. You know, life and death are, are potentially both some of the most terrifying things that that people can have to deal with. You know, life is not necessarily easy, and then at the end of it all, there's a fear of all of that terrible trouble and and difficulty and struggle going away, uh, and many other things among that. This is essentially, you know. Ram V getting to speak philosophical, uh, philosophical about death and life and, and what his thoughts are on it and, you know, how, how culture and spiritualism ties into it in varying degrees through a story that is obviously fictional, fantastical and, and, and fun with lots of twists and turns, very unexpected styles of telling a story. At one point, there's a, you're getting the story from the perspective of a cigarette so very interesting stuff going on from that perspective, but all of it's telling a story that feels very real about topics that feel very real, uh, I, I, you know, at least for me as a reader and and a person who, you know, is, has grown up reading comics and whose, you know, understanding of life and everything within it has changed. So definitely a very complex book. It, it, it's also something you don't have to read with that much intensity either, right? It's it's also just a, a good story with nice twists and turns and a very, very powerful and emotional ending that uh, will be very hard, you know, to <laughs> to not enjoy. It's so well done. The ending is one of the best endings in comics. I'm, of course, not going to give away anything. Just the way it's delivered, uh, the way you feel having gone through this journey over the past five issues to now get to this ending is uh, very, very, very well done. Um, I really liked it. I can't wait to see what else Ram V gives us as a creator. Um, you know, very cool ideas explored here, but the way the, the story's presented, the way it's all laid out and, and told to you as a reader is is different. There's a, a unique voice in Ram V that is definitely noticeable, extremely, extremely noticeable in this story. So I can't recommend it enough. If, if you're looking for something that you'll definitely revisit, this is a book I know I'm going to reread many, many times in the future. Um, and you're looking for something different. I can't recommend this enough. It's awesome. Boom Deluxe is as well there. You know, they come and go and they're very tough to get after a while. So if you're a big fan of Deluxe Editions, this is a really nice one. Very beautifully bound. Uh, reads really well. It's very light, so you can read it standing up even if you want to. You can be more mobile with it. There's a ton of amazing content in the back. Even talking to Ram V about, you know, becoming a writer, writing tips, uh, his process as a writer, really incredible, really detailed. It, it, it's definitely a lot more personal and and thoughtful in terms of bonus content relative to most other, you know, omnis or, or deluxes and, and the bonus content that they include. Full cover gallery, of course, amazing, beautiful artwork on, uh, you know, beautiful paper that it just looks great. It's it's the the presentation is top notch. I, I love it. I can't recommend it enough. In terms of deluxes, this is kind of as good as it gets, in my opinion. So if you're a big fan of that edition of, of storytelling, of collecting, this is a, a, a must have. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. So I want to know what you thought of this story. Have you read it? Let us know down in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to rereading this one day in the future when I'm ready for it again. Uh, but for now, I'm definitely going to be taking a break. Can't recommend checking this out, though, enough if you're a fan of Grant Morrison, if you're a fan of Alan Moore, if you're a fan of uh, Warren Ellis, the kind of style of writing that keeps you coming back because you keep wanna, you keep wanting to pick off more layers of it as your life changes and you grow as a person. It's very amazing, amazing work. Uh, amazing job by these two creators. Can't recommend it enough. Check out organicpricebooks.com. You'll probably be able to pick this up there. 
And until next time, as always, you stay classy, internet.